Yes guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Ultra Football YouTube channel. It's been a minute. I've lost some hair since I last saw you and I'm in the beautiful sunny UK on the other side of the world, but that's not gonna stop us from doing a play test and review of these boots right here. Wait, one sec. That's better, these boots right here, the Adidas Parley Pack. Let's get into it. Adidas and Parley for the Ocean have been working together since way back in 2015. And we've seen a lot of Adidas Parley products, mainly jerseys and shirts, but we've also seen some big waves made on the Ultra Boost footwear as well. But this right here is the first time we've ever seen it incorporated into football boots. And it's not just one football boot they've chosen to incorporate the Parley technology into, but all three main Adidas silos. So the Parley project recycles plastic waste from the world's ocean and then turns it into usable yarns for products. So the yarns within these football boots right here, at least 50% of them are made from Parley plastic, which is absolutely mind boggling and honestly, what better cause can you get behind than a pair of football boots that are helping to save the world and clean up the oceans. But it does mean there are some slight differences on these three models of boots compared to the traditional original releases of each of them. So we're gonna dive into each silo individually and talk about the boot themselves. Now talking about the boots individually, let's start off with these guys right here, the Predator Accuracy. Now, in hand, I've been genuinely very, very impressed. They feel pretty much identical to the standard release. With that soft, supple upper in hand, those rubber elements on top, of course, a point of difference is it has that stitching lines waving through the upper, which I believe are meant to look like water or the ripples within water. And design-wise, I do think they look pretty clean, pretty cool. The prime knit feels exactly the same as well. So those yarns I was mentioning before are used within the upper and I assume the prime knit as well. But honestly, as far as a pair of boots in hand feels, they feel really, really good. Obviously, we're gonna get them on feet in a second. They also have the design, the Parley on that midfoot and then the three stripes going up the lateral side, which look very like the Predator Accelerator stripes from back in the day. So yeah, aesthetically and in hand, I'm a big, big fan of the Parley Adidas Accuracy boots. I think they're gonna be amazing on feet, but let's talk about the next ones. Time to talk about the X Speed portals now, and much the same to the Predator Accuracy, it's almost identical. Fit feel, it feels exactly the same. If you look very, very closely, there's a slight difference in the upper texturing and the knit, but honestly, it's so minor. If you don't look really hard, you're not going to notice it. And then apart from that, it's got that same detailing of those lines going around the upper. Of course, not externally stitched as they are on the Predator because these are designed within that upper itself. It has that same plasticky texture to the upper. It's got that same prime knit. Again, the yarns are used throughout the upper and the prime knit. And honestly, when I first saw the pictures of these boots, I didn't know how much I liked them, but in hand, these are something very special. Of course, they've still got that speed frame sole plate under there as well. And then the Parley branding on the instep, like all the other boots, and three stripes on that lateral forefoot. Yeah, I'm a big fan again. I can't wait to get these on feet. I think they're gonna fit and feel very similar to the traditional XB portal. Now, it's time to talk about the boot that was obviously gonna change the most out of this whole pack, the Copper Pure Point Ones. Now, I need to preface this by saying I love the concept of this Parley movement and what they're doing, saving the oceans, but as a purist loving a leather football boot, this one's a bit more difficult for me because traditionally a leather forefoot on these boots with this fusion skin upper, super soft and supple in hand, they've replaced that with a synthetic leather upper over the whole boot and first opinions in hand, it just doesn't feel as soft as traditional leather, which is what you'd expect. But obviously, they're doing it for a reason, for the sustainability and the good of the earth. That has the aesthetics of those stitching, a bit more like the Predator. It's got the three stripes on the outside, Parley branding on the inside, and then the torsion frame on the bottom of the boot. So that tooling is still the same, but obviously, out of all the boots in this pack, if you're gonna notice a big difference compared to the traditional models, it is is gonna be on the boot, which is normally leather, but is now a synthetic leather. So I'm interested to see how these feel 
on my feet. I'm making these assumptions just by feeling in hand, but we will be doing a full play test and review in just a second. But before we dive into that, I've got to tell you about one more design feature on all of these football boots. The design feature I want to tell you about isn't visible from the exterior of the boots. It is actually in the sock liner. So I'll show you on screen now, but there is a QR code on the bottom of the insoles within these boots. And that QR code, if you want to, you can scan it now on your computer. That just takes you to the Adidas website and gives you a bit more information about the whole Parley project and what they're doing to help save our oceans. But for now, I've been buzzing for this the whole time. I hope you have as well. It's time to put these boots to the test and get them on feet. All right, time to put the first pair of boots on feet. The pretty accuracies, let's see how accurate they really are. Well, they're comfortable. Let's see how accurate they are. Don't judge this, this is my first shot of the day. So pass back to the keeper. Let's just get a feel for these boots on feet. Honestly, straight out of the box, they do feel pretty comfy. They're genuinely almost exactly the same as the standard Predator Accuracy. I can't feel any noticeable difference when first put on feet. Genuinely, all I want to do in these is whip one free kick top bins using those rubber elements, and then I'm good to move on to the other boots because I think we might find some differences in those a bit more than these. Let's do it. Top left. Look, it's not far away, but my verdict is, if you want to help the planet and you like predator accuracies already, then get these boots. The price tag might be slightly more, they might be limited edition, but honestly the fit and feel on feet, the way they perform, it's almost identical, they look good, and you're doing your part for the planet. So, let's move on. Next up, we're chucking on the XB portal. Just as I've picked them up here, I've noticed one other difference to the current XB portal model, and that is the mesh sort of lining around the back of the heel is slightly different to the traditional one used, but honestly, it's, it's neither here nor there. It still feels like a very nice padded heel region. There it is, the XB portals are on feet. Obviously, being the speed boot, we're gonna be talking about how the fit, the feel, and the lockdown works with responsiveness, so let's get into it. The lockdown's good, man. It feels very standard to the usual XP portal. Exactly what you would expect from it. The lockdown over the top of the forefront, especially for my wide feet, is killer. It's, I'm not going anywhere. The design feature you can notice slightly top down, but not much. I'm a fan, and I'm such a fan. I'm gonna knuckleball this ball into that uh, top left corner. And the XP portals feel good, responsive, lockdown's good. Exactly what you expect, they feel very similar. I can't really pick many differences at all. The touch and feel on the ball, super nice. The upper's really thin, barefoot fit and feel. I can't fault them. One thing I will say about the speed portals, that top down look, they look so quick, man. They look so good when you're looking straight down at them. The last pair of boots in the pack now, the Copper Pures, and this, this is where I'm expecting to notice the biggest difference in any of the boots. Obviously, as I said before, it doesn't have that fusion skin upper with the leather forefoot anymore. It's now just simply a synthetic leather upper. And you slide your feet into it, and honestly, you can feel that straight away. But I will say for my wide, fat feet, they are the easiest of the three boots to get on. And normally, I would lean in the direction of the copper as my boot of choice from these three silos but we've got to put them to the test they're by no means uncomfortable but they're definitely not as soft as a traditional leather boot that you would expect how's the touch not bad you know let's really put the touch to the test oh, and yeah, look not bad at all. Yeah look okay I have to articulate this very very carefully because the boots aren't as comfortable as a traditional leather upper and a leather purple boots like that's just it is what it is but 
you have to respect and love what they're doing and the direction they're pushing and the story and the reason behind creating these fully synthetic leather uppers. So, I'm not gonna bash the boots on how they feel because honestly on foot, the comfortable and the, the synthetic upper does well. Like it does really well to resemble a leather but it's just never truly going to be a leather. So my thoughts on the copper are if you're passionate about this project then these are the boots for you because they're still a good boot but it's just really really hard to compete with traditional natural leather but in terms of how these boots actually look mate top down they look class and i'm actually a fan of those stitching lines around the boot they remind me of some old school leather boots and also it does give you that vibe of water rippling on the top of your foot as well so, so here it is my final thoughts and opinions on the adidas parley pack i love them I think they're so sick, they're such a clean looking pack of football boots. As I've already stated many a time, I'm a big fan of what they're doing and why they're doing it. For me, if you had to ask me which pair would be the pick of the bunch, it would be the Predator Accuracy. This, this for me is such a good football boot. I hope you guys have learned something from today and are able to take something away from this video. Of course, if you want to get your hands on any of these pairs of football boots, make sure to head over to Ultra Football, the best footballing store in the world and the place for you to get your hands on all of these. But that's it for today's video. Thank you as always so much for watching. Make sure to hit like, subscribe and comment down below if there's any other boots you'd like me to run through or give you a bit more of a heads up on. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.